local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 1115 on this Monday evening. I want to go over some severe thunderstorm warnings that we have to tell you about. One in effect until midnight for Bland, with also for parts of Pulaski and also Giles counties. Right now, the storm has pushed into Bland County. It has also pushed into extreme western parts of Giles County near Glen Lynn. Notice as this thing moves to the southeast, it will likely impact you folks in Withville and also maybe eventually for you folks in Pulaski over about the next 30 30 to 45 minutes or so. Again, the cell was in West Virginia at the top of the hour. Now we have some strong thunderstorms in uh, Bland and Giles County. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for those areas until midnight. New severe thunderstorm warning hot off the presses in effect until 1215. This one in effect for parts of Allegheny, Giles, Montgomery, also for Bath and Rockbridge counties. This severe thunderstorm warning in effect again until 1215 for the next hour or so. It does include the city of Covington. Most of the showers and thunderstorms in association with this severe thunderstorm warning still in West Virginia. But within about the next 10 to 20 minutes, these showers and storms that are in Pocahontas and Greenbrier counties will be pushing in to the Commonwealth. All of this pushing southeast at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Main threats, heavy rain, thunder and lightning, and 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts. This line of showers and thunderstorms known to create some damaging wind, uh, doing uh, some damage to structures, also knocking down trees in West Virginia. Thankfully, it has weakened, but it has not weakened enough where we don't have the threat for severe weather. We will continue to have the chance for strong to severe thunderstorms here for the next maybe 90 minutes or so. Again, southeast movement, 30 to 35 miles per hour. Without question, the NRV and Highlands going to be hit the hardest with these storms. It looks like Lynchburg south side. You may get a little bit of rain out of it, may have a couple of rumbles of thunder, but by the time it gets towards the Piedmont, this line of thunderstorms will continue to weaken. Again, the main severe threat here until about 1 a.m. for the Highlands, New River Valley, and maybe eventually even the Roanoke Valley. We've got one cluster of showers and thunderstorms to contend with here for the next two hours or so. We've got another one situated up, say, towards Ohio and Indiana. This one can come through tomorrow morning, and if it impacts us tomorrow morning, we may have a boundary form from it and create the chance for more hit or miss thunder showers come tomorrow afternoon. So on Tuesday, we are either in a marginal or slight risk for severe weather, either a level one or a level two threat for severe weather, with perhaps a higher threat for strong to severe thunderstorms in this yellow color here. That includes the Piedmont. So come tomorrow afternoon, there might be a higher threat for stronger thunderstorms in Lynchburg and Southside than what you could potentially see in the mountains. It's 11:18, and it's still 84 in Roanoke. 78 right now in Lynchburg, 80 in Danville, 71 Withville, 75 Hillsville and Galax. Very warm, very muggy for us outside right now. High temperatures tomorrow, 92 to 98, and that could be the hottest day we've had since July of 2020, but we're not alone. We have heat advisories, heat watches, excessive heat warnings extending from Minnesota and Wisconsin all the way south into Florida. We have uh, excessive heat warnings as close to us as Greensboro in North Carolina. No heat alerts for us just yet, but that could could change over the next 24 hours or so as we could have peak heat indices or feel like temperatures feeling over 100 degrees plus during the heating of the day in areas east of the parkway. However, by Father's Day weekend, the heat wave finally crashes. High Saturday, low to mid 80s. High Sunday, upper 70s, low to mid 80s. So there is an end in sight to all this heat and humidity. And it will come briefly this weekend. Hit or miss thunder showers tonight. A couple could pack a punch in the mountains. Overnight lows 68 to 74. Tomorrow record heat is possible. We're going to have the chance for some rain and thunderstorms in the morning and then again later in the day. Highs in the mountains, 80s and low to mid 90s. Outside the mountains, 94 to 98. Your extended forecast. Lower 90s Thursday, Friday, 80 Saturday and Sunday. Back into the lower 90s one week from today. So after a cooler weekend, the mercury goes right back up next week. Keep the umbrella handy. We will have chances for thunderstorms. Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, and then again Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. Brittany, 